these are some of the essential apps I installed on my MacBook Air and I find them extremely handy. Have a look if you are interested. My last MacBook, which is a 2017 MacBook Pro, died because of battery issue. The main reason is that I kept using it plugged in during weekdays, so the battery almost always stayed at 100%. This is said to be causing problems with battery longevity. So this app does one thing I need, which is preventing the MacBook being fully charged. By default, it is set to charge to 80% max, so you don't have to worry about it being charged to 100%. There are some features that requires you to pay for the Pro version, but I find the free version totally fulfills my need. The app is perfect for my M1 MacBook Air since the battery life of the laptop is so good. Even with 80% of battery, I can still confidently use it for many hours. This is an open source free app that significantly improves the window management of macOS. There are some other paid apps providing essentially the same features, such as Magnic or Better Snap 2. They are not expensive by any means, but Bentango does what I need and it is free. You can also use keyboard shortcuts to move windows around and I find it so convenient. This is also a simple app that does one thing I needed to do, which is reversing the scrolling of my mouse. By default, when using the trackpad of my MacBook, the scroll direction is set to nature, which is perfect for trackpad because it does feel natural. But it is the opposite of what we are used to when using mouse in any other OS like Windows. So when I'm using external mouse, I have to change the setting. With scroll reversal, I can set the scroll direction separately for the trackpad and the mouse so that I don't have to think about the problem when I'm switching between trackpad and mouse. Vanilla is another app that provides a simple solution for a tiny problem, an overcrowded menu bar. Using Vanilla, you can drag the icons that you want to hide, and it would hide them, so that your menu bar stays clean and tidy. There is one issue though. When I'm playing full screen videos in Firefox or other browsers, this tiny arrow thing stays visible. It is a little bit annoying, and once you see it, you cannot unsee it. But most of the time, it is functioning great. Just one small complaint, I hope the developer will fix it in the future. That's all for today's video.